This is Lucifera. I'm going to be uh, talking about my life story a little bit and um, address a few things. When I was young, I had a vaccination uh, which caused a fever and the fever caused a seizure and uh, gave me uh, cerebral palsy basically. So. Um, of course, eventually um, the seizures didn't. Uh, the seizures stopped. Never had them again. Uh, so, but the doctors said that I would not be able to walk, talk, hear, or see. And of course, I can do all that today. Um, so I proved them wrong. Um, actually, before I move forward. I just I just want to say that there were two people who came to my mother uh, before I was born and said that you would have a child uh, that would do great things spirit uh, there was spiritual work and these people came out of the blue uh, from what I was told and um, helped my mother and so what happened to me and surviving all of that is quite a miracle and I'm not talking about the Christian miracle this the miracle of life the miracle of spirit we are powerful spirits uh, we were not below some dictator God we are above that we are so much more powerful we just need to recognize that so anyway, um, as I grew up, I, you know, continued to struggle with things. Um, I had family that were Christians. They were not tolerant of religion at all. So it, it took time for me to uh, move out of Christianity. By the time I got out of, I mean, by the time I got into high school, uh, I investigated world religions, I went to the library a lot, um, studied Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, I've studied uh, New Age religions, spiritualities, different spiritualities and mythologies. Um, it's definitely something I can talk about all day. So a lot of my life I've had to deal with a lot of struggles, so spirituality and poetry and the divine nature has kept me going through all of this stuff. So, um, you know, I just kept on going with my mission when it came to spirituality and the people that told my mother about uh, what I'm going to be doing in the future, it, it's coming to pass. And so, um, and I'm not going to stop doing that. And I've been getting a lot of hate for that. I mean, even hate for my name. And it's just ridiculous that people can't see through that. They, they want to keep believing that Lucifer is Satan and how I'm worshiping the devil and People, I am not a worshiper of a devil. I'm not into all that stuff any, at all. So, like I have said many times before in my videos, Lucifer means light bearer, morning star. And that is my name. I am all about shining the light and being a comforter f for the human spirit. These religions that I talk about and expose Christianity, Islam, and uh, Judaism, Christianity and Islam are the big enemies for me because they have been going against me quite a bit. Not so much from Judaism, but all these religions need to be exposed though because of its history, its violence. And this is what I do, and I'm hated for it. It is time to wake up. Stop your, stop your hatred. Stop this demonic nature. 
I, for me personally, I really feel like since 2012, this world has just either devolved, in, uh, in parts of it have evolved, of course. Uh, those who are on a higher spiritual level are evolving, but a lot of the world is devolving fast, and it's, it's pretty scary the way people are becoming. It's like they're zombies. They're just going along with the crowd. It's all about fear, 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 hell, antichrist, demons, and, and reptilians. All that stuff is nonsense. Put that away. It is time to evolve past that. Get along with each other. Make physical contact. Talk to each other. Stop this war. This constant hatred. It really, it really seems the computer has become more of a curse than uh, a, a blessing. We should, we should really get out there and meet people, talk to them face to face. And this is what um, Shindo and I are going to be doing pretty soon: is taking our mission to the streets. Not in a forceful way, but just, you know, feel the people out and see if they resonate with us. Just simple conversation. These Christians force their religion on people, and we're not about that. We are not going to force our spirituali spirituality up on you. Your spirituality is your own, but it becomes dangerous when you do what the Christian religions are doing, uh, uh, all the Abrahamic religions are doing. I am pretty tired of debating and fighting with a bunch of trolls and uh, quote Christians. It's just a waste of time. I am so tired of it. I'm tired of being called the most horrible names, uh, being called ugly. People, I have a disability. If you don't like the way I look or the way or my voice, well then move on. I don't care what you think about me. I am who I am. I am spirit. I am light. I am Lucifer, Lucifera, that spirit. And you all, and those of you who are evolving have that same spirit. You are also morning stars. You shall do great things and even more and for all of you trolls out there who think that my husband is controlling me and telling me what to say and what to write you are dead wrong I have been doing this way before I met my husband so I am a strong person I am independent I do my own things I you have no idea what I'm capable of when it comes to these great spiritual things. It is very dangerous for you Christians and, and trolls to come at people like us and blaspheme the spirit of light. Do not do things like that. You don't like what we say, move on. So anyway, this is Lucifera, and have a good day. Bye. I want to address one more thing, I forgot to mention it earlier, is that we are being accused of murder. My husband has been accused of murder, um, and this is just absolutely insane. A lot of you Christians believe that we are murderers because we're Satanists, uh, and you tell you come at me and tell me that I'm a murderer of babies how dare you come at us like that you people need to get off the internet and get on with your life this is not right you don't do things like this you're you want to you want to tell me that I murder babies look at your God in the Bible you f you are just you're hypocrites it's unbelievable so anyway I wanted to just mention that get that out there uh, ignore let's just start ignoring these uh, Christians these trolls they are insignificant they are empty shells they are not human they are soulless <laughs> shells <laughs> anyway um, thank you again
Bye.